I'm going to tell you today's Bible story by pretending that I am one of the persons in this story. This true story is found in Luke 19, verses 1 through 10. Hello, my name is Zacchaeus. Do you know who I am? Do you know what I do? I am a tax collector for the Roman government. One of the perks of my jobs is that I can make you pay any amount of money that I decide. So if you owe the government $100, I can come to you and say $150, and you have to pay it to me. I will take the 100 and pay the government, and the other 50 goes into my purse, and I become very, very wealthy. I am a wealthy and rich man because I get to keep what's left over and I get to decide how much that is when I charge you the money. Well, I suppose you can tell that I am very rich. I am a wealthy man. And the reason I am so wealthy is because I have cheated people. I've probably cheated you and you and you and you. all of you. I've probably cheated all of you to get rich. And because of that, I know that you all hate me. When I come to your door, you don't want to see me coming. You want to run the other way. If you see me in the street, you don't say, hey, Zacchaeus. Some people even spit when I walk by. They do not like me. I don't have many friends, but I do have money. Have I cheated you? I'm sure I have. You know, I remember taking that extra $50 from you. Here, I will pay it back to you, and I will pay you times four what I took. $200, because I stole $50. I really wanna do this. And I bet you wonder why, don't you? Well. I will tell you what happened to me one day. One day, I don't remember exactly what I was doing. I might have been knocking on all of your doors, taking money from you. Or maybe I was sitting in my house, counting my money. But I heard that a very powerful man was passing through Jericho. His name was Jesus, and I had heard people talking about them when I was out and about around town. I wanted to see this man that everybody was talking about. So I hurried down the road. But it seemed like everybody else in town had heard he was coming too. And they had beat me to it and gotten there ahead of me. <sighs> there was a huge crowd of people lining both sides of the street. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of a short guy. And most of the people in town are taller than me. They would look down at me because they don't like me. And they'd give me this look that showed how much they hated me. And I didn't like it that they looked at me like that, but then I would remember that I was the one with all the money and that's what made me feel important. Well, I kept trying to see on the road, but I couldn't see past all of those people. And then I had an idea. I quickly, found a sycamore tree and I climbed up on that tree and then, oh, I could see over all of their heads. Look, I could see way down the road and there he was coming, that man that they called Jesus. I could see what he was doing and I was excited. And he, as he came closer, he came way closer and even way closer until he was right by my tree. I didn't know if he'd see me up there. And then he looked right in my eyes. And when he looked at me, he said, Zacchaeus. 
Come down. Oh, how does he know my name? Oh, I got down from that tree so quickly. And then he said, I am going to your house today. Take me to your house. Oh, nobody ever says that to me. They don't like me. This important man wants to come to my house. <laughs> it's because I'm so wealthy, so rich, so important. I was so excited. And so I began to walk with Jesus and take him to my house. And I could hear all the people around me grumbling and saying, why would Jesus go to Zacchaeus' house? Zacchaeus is a cheat. Zacchaeus is a thief. Zacchaeus lies about how many taxes we owe. He shouldn't go to that house. Zacchaeus is a bad man. Well, I hoped Jesus didn't hear them saying those things because he did say he wanted to come to my house. And so he came. I didn't really feel so important when I heard them say those things. But Jesus came in and he talked to me. And he told me how God wanted me to love other people, not cheat them. He wanted me to treat other people the way I wanted them to treat me. He told me that God cared more about how I loved other people than about how much money I had. And I realized he was right. And I told Jesus, I have cheated basically everybody in this town. I did bad things. You're eating with someone who didn't do good. But Jesus showed me that that was sin in my heart. And then he said that my sin-filled heart could be restored. It could be made like it was new again. Like a heart that could meet with God Oh, Jesus said to me, Zacchaeus, today salvation has come to this house because this man, Zacchaeus, is a son of Abraham and the son of man came to seek and to save what was lost. Oh, you know what I learned? I learned that I couldn't help myself become a better person. I needed Jesus to restore me to God and to make me right again with God. And now I can live in thankfulness and love to God and to other people. That's why I wanted to pay you back more than I took. I want you to know about this love that I now understand. you to listen again to this story. I told you already, it's in Luke 19, verses 1 through 10. And it's not a very long story. It says, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through a man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector and he was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he couldn't see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and he climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him since Jesus was coming along that way. When Jesus reached that spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So I came down at once and welcomed him gladly. But all the people saw this and they began to mutter, he has gone to the guest be a guest of a sinner. Well, I took Jesus to my home.
And I said to Jesus, Lord, look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. Did you hear that? We know that our almighty God created the earth and the people in it, and he created them so that he could have fellowship with them. But those people, just like Zacchaeus, chose to separate themselves from God when they let sin come into their hearts. That sin infected the whole world and God could no longer be near it. But God sent Jesus, who is God, into this world. And Jesus met with people like Zacchaeus, and like you, and like me. And eventually, he said, I will take the punishment for your sins. And if you believe that, I did that, then you can be restored to be with God. And someday, you will be able to live forever with God. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. It is wonderful. And it's included in our Bible because this story is not just about Zacchaeus. It's about you. It's about me. It's about the stuff we do that's not good because we all do it. Jesus loves us anyway, and he will restore us if we believe in him and if we let him live in us and lead us and guide us and be our shepherd. If you have snow days or are missing weeks, this three and four can easily be combined because they're so short. Five and six can be combined. If you're able to do them, I am finding that my kids are thriving on multiple tellings of the story. I just told you two ways. When I do this, I, will, I often read from the Rhyme Bible, if you have one or can find one. I often read the Rhyme Bible the next week when they're having their snack. I read the story from the week before out of the Rhyme Bible. And it's a very simple and easy one. This week I might tell them that lots of people tell this story from the Bible and that this is one, and I might read this to them for a third telling of this story. If you have time, tell it in multiple ways. Last week I told the story of Jesus calming the sea with flannel graph. And then we did an interactive reading of it. And then we built a boat and we did a play of it. And they just were asking for more and more. So don't be afraid to tell the same story three or four different times in one setting. It just brings it home to them more. But also don't forget to bring in salvation, to bring in the word restoration. One thing that I read this week, um, whenever I find uh, devotionals that are one of our Bible Club stories. I'll print it out and file it with that so I might not see it till we get to that story. But it pointed out and it was so perfect for me because this is the week that we teach the children what it means when a sheep is cast, when he's on his back, when he can't do anything to help himself. And Zacchaeus was an outcast mm -hmm. in society. Society had cast him out, and there was nothing he could do to make things right except let Jesus help him. 
let Jesus, the good shepherd, right him, restore him from being cast out. So there are many ways to play with those words in your lesson this week and to bring this home. It's very, very short, but it has a lot packed into it. And if you tell it once and then twice and throw in some of these words, I think they'll begin to get it.